Hi, well, about a month or so ago, we made a chair from a tree in a day. And we cut the tree down and we cut out all the components and we made a greenwood chair all within a sort of fairly long working day. And I popped a film up on that. I'll pop a link just on here so you can see it. Anyway, a lot of people have been saying, why doesn't the chair fall apart? So what I'm doing in this film is I'm going to show you some of the sort of secrets of green woodworking and explain why the chair actually holds together. And we let nature do its work, so it's all about wood drying at different rates. With green woodworking, we've got a very wet bit of wood coming off of a tree. You can use that to your advantage. And what will happen is, in principle, you have a dry tenon, so of something like a leg stretcher, going into the upright post of a chair and if your post is very wet it will shrink and tighten as it dries. If you keep your tenon very dry when it's in there it will get held in by the shrinkage of the wet seat post and that's a sort of overriding principle of it. You have dry component going into a very wet component and one shrinks over the other. But actually there's a bit more to it than that even. So I'll explain a little bit in more detail next. And the first thing to say is that as a round bit of wood shrinks, it will shrink more one way than the other way. So here's a piece of wood. It started off originally as a nice round bit of wood. We're just taking a bit of green wood off a tree and shaped it round. So it's wet, holding lots of water. As it dried out, it shrunk. And you'll find it shrinks more across ways than down. So it's not the same each way. It will shrink about 10% across the rays. We're following the grains. You've got the rays coming up here, the wood grain going across. It will shrink more that way, about 10%, and only about 5% the other way. So you can use that shrinkage to good effect. If you imagine that's a chair seat post, when you drill a hole and it's wet, you get a nice round hole, obviously. But as that seat post dries, it will dry, the hole will dry to an oval. It will shrink in far more that way than it will that way. So the hole will get tighter. And it's using that shrinkage which actually helps bind the stretcher into the seat post. So the important thing is if that's your seat post you want to orientate your tenon so that the rays are going upward, grain going across. So the rays are vertical and provided you keep your rays vertical what will happen is that seat post will crush in and actually lock onto that tenon. In line with that line, it's got to be in line with the leg. See that? Yeah. yeah. And really bind it in. So that's the orientation that you want to use, and that's what we were using in the film. There are a couple more things you can do. There's a risk that your seat post will actually split. So what some people do, and again, we're doing it in the film, you shave the sides of the tenons. Yeah, that's tight, so we need more in there. More off. Oh, that's too tight for this. Of the stretchers going in, so they don't force the seat post apart. And what some people do, which is a very old trick used by old Windsor chair makers, you put a little notch on your tenon. And as the wood shrinks around it, some of it goes into that notch and it makes it really difficult to pull a bit of wood out. It's the same principle with some hammer wedges have a little notch in them and that helps secure it even more. So it's really all about wood shrinkage and making sure that you use it to good effect. And finally, the last thing we did, we made sure we had interlocking tenons. So you put one rail over the path of another rail. This is one in cross section, this is another rail coming in and they just slightly interlock each other and that again keeps them locked into position. 
So a few little hints and tips there from the world of green woodworking. But they're the essential principles. It's all about wood shrinkage. And if you want to look at this further, there are some very good books around on it. Mike Abbott has done some very nice books on green woodworking and using you know, shrinkage as a way of making chairs. And also there's a book by John Alexander, um, which is about making a chair from a tree. Not in a day, <laughs> but making a chair from a tree. It's an old book, very good book indeed, and um, another one that's well worth reading. So I hope that's all given a bit of an explanation and a bit of insight into why that chair that we made is still as rock solid and actually it will get stronger as time passes. As those seat posts shrink, it will get a lot stronger. Now, a couple of other little things just to mention. One is the process of steaming wood actually tends to semi-season it. So by putting the back legs in the steamer, we actually tend to dry the wood out. Oddly enough, you wouldn't think it all that steam, but it does have the effect of slightly seasoning the wood. That means the shrinkage will be less on the back legs than the front legs. And for that reason, when we were assembling the front legs, we made particular care to shave off the sides of the tenons so that they wouldn't crack, particularly the top of those uh, front leg posts because the wood would be very liable to crack and break out if we didn't actually make sure that it was a fairly easy fit for the tenon. And um, obviously when we're doing the chair in a day, we had to dry the tenons out, the stretchers. So we used the hot sand for that very reason. We put them into buckets of hot sand under a far, and then that got some of the moisture out of those tenons. What you'll find is as you put a dry tenon into a wet seat post, some of the water from the seat post will merge into the tenon. So you can get splitting if you're not careful. But if you watch out all those sorts of things, it works jolly well. And you don't really need glue. I mean, we did use glue, but it's not essential. So anyway, I hope that little explanation helps a bit and answers the question why that chair is not falling apart. And it's certainly not going to fall apart. It's really looking lovely and sound. Thanks so much for watching then. Bye bye.